Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install Ubuntu Server 22.04 LTS ISO in Solus VM control panel. First of all, you need to mount the Ubuntu 22.04 server ISO file in Solus VM. Then head to the target system on which you want to install and run Ubuntu Server 22.04. When the system boots up with bootable media, we will get the following screen. Choose Try or Install Ubuntu Server and hit Enter. Next, choose your preferred language and then hit Enter. Select your preferred keyboard layout for Ubuntu Server installation and then Enter. In the next step, you will be prompted to choose the base for installation. There are two options. Ubuntu Server. It will have all the software which are required to run and manage the Ubuntu Server smoothly. And Ubuntu Server, minimized. As the name suggests, it will have a minimum runtime footprint in environments where humans are not expected to log in. So, select the first option Ubuntu Server and then choose Done. Next, set up a network and Ubuntu Archive Mirror. If your system is connected to a modem or maybe to a switch, then it will try to get an IP address via DHCP. You can also assign IP manually in case DHCP is not enabled in your environment. Choose Done and hit Enter. If your system is running behind a proxy server then specify the proxy IP in port. Skip it, in case there is no proxy in your environment. Based on the current location, the installer will automatically configure Ubuntu Archive Mirror. Select Done and press Enter. Next, we will decide what would be partition scheme for the Ubuntu server based on available disk space. We have two options here. Use an entire disk. In this option, the installer will automatically create a partition on the entire disk. Custom storage layout, as the name suggests, here we can create custom partitions for the Ubuntu server. If you are new to Ubuntu then it is recommended to choose the first option use an entire disk. Choose done and hit enter. As you can see, the installer has created two partitions on a 35GB hard disk. We have around 16.5GB of free space which we can use to create a partition as per the requirement after the installation. Select Done and press Enter to proceed with the installation. Choose Continue to write changes to disk in the following screen. Mention the username, its password, and the system's hostname and the profile setup. In our case, we have used the following. Later we will be using this user to log into the system. This user will have pseudo rights by default. In the next screen, the installer will prompt to install the OpenSSH server. So, select Install OpenSSH Server. Choose Done, and hit Enter to begin the installation. Choose the server snaps according to the environment that you want to build during the installation. You can skip this if you don't want to configure it during installation. Now, the actual installation has been started in this step. Once the installation is completed the installer will instruct to reboot the system once. Select Reboot now to restart the system. When the system boots up after the reboot, we will get the following login screen. Use the same username and password that we created during the profile setup step. Perfect, the following will confirm that Ubuntu 22.04 Server LTS has been installed successfully. 